Good afternoon, everybody. How are y'all doing? It has been another beautiful Saturday. Just heard some weird banging. Not real sure what it was. Oh well, not gonna worry about it. So listen, um, wow, what a what a great week it is turning out to be. Um, huh, I recently got in touch with a good friend of mine um, again. I've been out of touch for a little while, and it looks like I have found um, essentially an event share, uh, an event planner, actually, um, that will help me broadcast this uh, even further than where I'm reaching now, which uh, says something to me. Um, oh, hang on. Forgot to post this real quick. Um I've got one person watching like I do every week, so uh, good afternoon to you on YouTube. I uh, have my chats going, so ready to uh, take y'all's questions and uh, give you the answer. So this, so most weeks I come to you guys in a colored shirt, uh, cleaned up as best as possible. This week, I have the courage to... Um, I have the courage to come to y'all uh, essentially how I am on every Saturday. Um, yes, I'm shaved, um, simply because it's been a week. I can't grow facial hair as it is, so I shave off what I have. But you know what? You can definitely tell <laughs> when your razor blades are getting old, because as you can see, I nicked myself in a couple places. Um, so I decided that as during the start of uh, this week's Let's Chat, that I was going to share with y'all the things that I do on a daily basis. What? <laughs> uh, so I was going to... Uh, afternoon to you, Angus. Uh, where are you from? Um, um, so I was going to share with y'all some of the things that I do uh, on a daily basis to prove to y'all that I really do use what I talk about okay so the first one is uh, is my hand and body lotion um, uh, you're Afghanistan okay um, as to your first question I'm not gonna answer that sorry uh, Frederick uh, I guess you guys are in the same place I got a few people on today um, so the first one, uh, one of the ones that I use on a daily basis is this one. Um, I have incredibly dry skin. I uh, don't know about you guys out in Afghanistan, but here um, I'm not quite the desert uh, like I've, I understand Afghanistan to be, but uh, it is harsh on my skin nonetheless. And then with everything um, environmental-wise out here, yeah, our, our skin gets pretty bad. So... Um, Definitely, okay, so that's one. Uh, definitely use it on my arms and my hands. The next two are definitely my more important ones. Um, they are something that I use every day to essentially help me get through my day. Um, um, what I, my stress levels because of my job uh, tend to get very high, and um, so as a result, <laughs> so as a result, uh, everybody's body tells them when something's not right. Whether it's the flu and you're fighting a virus, uh, for me, with my stress levels, my chest starts to hurt uh, right here at my heart, and so. Um, one of the things that, that I do take on a daily basis is called Stress Relief Complex. Um, this little baby essentially allows me to keep going through the day no matter what my stress levels are. And then, of course, like always, I have my energy tea. So, so there's, there's one, okay? So that one helps me with my stress levels on a daily basis. I always make sure that I've got this one on hand, uh, as well as this one here. This one is MindWorks, and honestly, I don't know where I would be today where my job was concerned if I didn't have uh, this one on board. 
mind works every time your brain does something new it forms a new neuron and uh, we Uh, you guys are you guys are crazy, um, and so mind works uh, allows your brain to strengthen those neurons as well as the branches between those neurons to keep your brain essential for your mental decline to slow down. So those uh, three products are the ones that I definitely use. <laughs> guys are nuts um uh, at least you guys keep yourselves entertained uh, what <laughs> uh i will definitely have to say you guys that this one so far is one of the more entertaining let's chats that i've had uh in a while um okay so for all of you uh i'm assuming you all three are in uh afghanistan what time is it there You guys are having some random conversation. <laughs> um, twenty five sixty nine. That's a lot of time. Wow, you guys are crazy. Um, so anyway, I, I wanted to share that with you guys uh, first thing right off the bat. Um, because I... Uh, people... I, I recently had a friend of mine post on his Facebook page, if you're going to sell me health products, but then don't use it yourself, then don't bother coming to me. And that is a question that we get in network marketing if you're not going to use what you're trying to convince others to use, then don't bother. Uh, essentially, you, excuse me, essentially, you're just a liar, then, in my opinion. And Uganda is 420. I'm assuming the morning. Wow, that's. Thank you for joining me so early in the morning. If. <laughs> Okay, Tide Pods, no. And I don't know if you guys have heard about the stupidity that apparently has become a trend is to eat Tide Pods. Uh, dumb, stupidest thing ever. Um, so anyway, you guys are throwing me off a little bit today. So he brought up a good point. Um, that, you, you know, if you're if you don't truly believe in what you're selling, then you shouldn't be selling it. And... One of the things that I've learned from one of my mentors is people can always tell when you're fake, and there's a lot of truth to that. Um, sometimes I'm I'm good at reading people, and I can always tell those people that that I can read fairly easily. I can always tell when they're lying to me, uh, whether the tone in the voice, uh, something that they do. <clears throat> okay, Alfonso, that's not funny uh, at all. Uh, I don't appreciate the comment. Um, guys, please just, just keep it clean. Uh, for all I know, uh, one of the people watching is my kid, so please just keep it clean. That's what I ask. Um, I know for a fact that, that, uh, you three have not ever been on uh, one of my chats before, so that is just one of my rules, is to please keep the language clean, because I don't know uh, if my son is watching or not. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to share that those three are staples in my house, along with our laundry detergent, our household cleaners, all of it. My order I do every month to make sure that we have those things on hand, so that... Um, Um, so that I, I can ensure that the things in my household are always there. Now, I recently got to add a new one, which I'm excited about. As I mentioned in last week's chat, um, 
my kids now are second generation Shackley users and my youngest, my, um, is it eight month? He's eight month, but he's almost nine now. Wow. It's almost been a full year. Oh man. How time flies. Um, we recently started him on Liquid Lee. We give him um, a quarter milliliter uh, with his food every night, but I think we're probably about to bump that up as we give him more than a, a quarter milliliter and some of the other things that we give him. Um, so like that. Um, <laughs> you guys are silly, but okay. So these let's chats are a chance for people to ask me questions and get to know me and get to know what I do. So you three, uh, that are having a conversation, do you have any questions for me about what I do? Um, why I trust the things that I trust, uh, within reason, this is a chance for my viewers to get to know me. Uh, so I open this up to y'all. Uh, no, I am not. No, I'm I'm your old-fashioned American white boy. Let me. <laughs> that's. Um, before I started working out in my yard and on a daily basis, I was actually way more pale than this. So, uh, people would make fun of me because of how white I am. Um, no, I actually, and then my heritage is actually, I guess for lack of a better term, you could say that I'm a mutt. I, uh, recently, tr uh, backtraced my family history and found out that I'm from Ireland, Scotland, Poland, uh, England and uh, Welsh, Wales. Uh, so my family is actually my heritage is uh, from all over, um, all over that part of the world. My last name McMillan is actually a uh, change from Macmillan uh, that was actually formed when the Macmillan clan in Scotland split and move to Ireland. So, uh, I hope that answers your question there. Uh, partly, yes. Partly I am from Europe. Um, or at least my heritage is, my background is. I was actually born in Illinois. Uh, I enjoy European. <laughs> uh, that is my background. That is part of my background for sure. Um, so, uh, Great question. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. You guys have any other questions? Uh, like I said, this channel is about you guys getting a chance to know me and what I do and why I do what I do. So uh, I'm on every Saturday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I know. Well, wait a minute. It's Europe territory, but it didn't start that way. Um... Iceland, Scotland, and Poland. Well, Poland, I don't, you know, I'd have to look that one up. But Iceland and Scotland at one point were not part of uh, Europe. Um, they were, in fact, their own countries at one time. They are, however, now under British, uh, the British uh, monarchy. So you are right. Every one of those is European for now uh, or at this point. What brand is my are my socks? Um, well, that's a good question. Most of the time I buy Hanes. I find them to be the most comfortable. But recently, I started changing my sock collection to be Kerry Loha. If you've never had that, I do highly recommend it. It is all made out of bamboo. Uh, <laughs> correct. Not arguing. Um, so uh, some of the clothes that I have... Uh, are definitely going towards Kerry Loha. I find them to be very breathable, very comfortable, um, and definitely always uh, enjoy wearing Kerry Loha brand clothes. 
Anything else? You guys got quiet all of a sudden. You guys were chatting away a minute ago. <laughs> um, okay, so assuming you're talking about Garfield the cat. Um, I mean, not really. I thought it was a fun cartoon, but that's all it was. Um, I will say that there are movies and TV shows that... All right, hang on a minute. Let me look that one up. Uh huh. You know, it's um. Well, to answer your question, no. Uh, there have been. Uh, I prefer Dragon Ball Z. I don't really care for the newer ones. I think it got stupid after after. Oh, who was the green guy that showed up? Vegeta? No, that wasn't Vegeta. I forget the green who the green guy is. But the whole show just got stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> um. They tried to come out with a video game of Dragon Ball Z, and I haven't checked that one out yet, but uh, I need to just to see what it's like. Uh, thank you, Piccolo. Um, after Piccolo showed up, the whole thing just got stupid. Um, do I like Henshi? Not typically. I mean, it, it, but for me, it's more the... Um, In some cases, it's more the, the story. The story just gets too ridiculous, and there's not... Um, I, some henshi is okay, but traditionally, no, I don't really care for it. Anything else? You guys are asking good questions this time. I like this. You watched a whole show in one month. Okay, yeah, we call that binge watching. Um, I actually have done that with Grimm and um, The Flash, Supergirl, Green Arrow. I binge watched all of those. My favorite type of bird? Um, I know it's in the eagle family, but I would have to say a hawk. Um, those have got to be some of the coolest birds I've ever come across. You call physically impossible. There's 291 episodes of which show? Um, yeah, I've seen most of them. Um, at one point I'd been watched all of them. I don't remember how long it took me. Um, there are some shows that because of my family, um, I can only watch, uh, during my lunch break, uh, at work. So I don't get a lot of time. It usually it takes me a couple months to get through one show, uh, if I have to watch it like that. Heard. I have heard of that. No, I'm not going to. Uh, I have heard that there are um, health benefits to doing that, but I don't promote those. I haven't done any research on it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, you'd have to get me pretty thirsty to even try something like that. Excuse me, and I'm definitely not going to do it on a live video. No way.
Sorry, bud. Not doing that one. Um, I've heard that. Uh, I think there's even a video out there of how you can turn it into distilled water, and I still I don't know. Uh, how much do I weigh currently? I am at um, uh, between 235 and 241 pounds. Um, I I recently lost. For those, you guys don't know me, but I used to weigh nearly 300. And, uh, how tall are you? I am 5'5". Five five. What else you got? I thought the questions were just going to keep running through like crazy. My stats are going to go way up because of you guys today. <laughs> okay, explain that one. Obviously you didn't because you're talking. What? <laughs> I can honestly say I haven't done that one. Uh, so I'm going to have to answer no. Okay, will you will you let me ask you why? <laughs> With as big a guy as I am, I would need something a little bigger than a cup. Um, sorry, but there are some things where I ask why, um, right now the biggest question on my mind is why I get up and go to work every day, uh, and then I see my family and that's why, um, I, because I, I definitely enjoy having my own business, uh, a lot more as opposed to, uh, going to work. It is a lot more fun. Um, okay, here, it's not acceptable, and to be quite honest, I hate the word. Um, I, I don't think anybody should use it towards anybody, and to be quite honest, one of the, one of the biggest ways that that particular word offends me is it is such a, a derogatory word here, and yet black people say it to black people all, all the time as a compliment and yet when a white person says it they're the most racist person on the face of the planet so to be honest with you i hate the word and you will never hear me use that no matter where i'm at no matter where i am in the world because i absolutely hate that word Any other questions for me? There we go. 
Um, no. Having said that, does secondhand inhaling count? <laughs> um, I did a long time ago where that, in that regard, at a rock concert, couldn't really be helped here. Um, but no, in that, in the traditional sense of taking a drug, no, I don't. Um, <sighs> Angus, if if you're not going to keep it clean, I'm going to delete you out of here, bud. Adios, dude. Told you. I asked you guys to keep it clean out of respect for my kids. You can't do that. I delete you. Thank you. I have a, a code of standards, and especially where my kids are concerned, all I ask is that y'all respect that. And if you're not going to, then I don't have to listen to it, and I don't have to subject my kid to it. So, bye. Um, I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but at some point, you'll get over it. I do not appreciate that kind of, of language used on my channel. This is my business. I will work with who I want. I don't understand your comment, bud. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to block him from my channel. <laughs> wow. Um, do you guys have any other questions? <sighs> At some point, yes, because I do believe in second chances, but again, you're going to respect my wishes or I block you. So there is a chance uh, that I will, that I will, here, I'll tell you what, I'll do it now. Uh, unhide user. Okay, so he's back on now. I'd show you a screenshot of this so I could, but it does say that he was unhidden. But please keep it clean. It's a sign of respect. For now, you are. See, that, that's the whole thing. I, I truly believe that everybody in the world would get along a whole lot better with everybody if everybody would just show signs of respect. And if you're not going to do that, then I think there should be certain actions taken. Uh, essentially, 
in my opinion, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Okay? That doesn't mean, however, that I have to listen to it. Okay? One of the biggest problems that we have now is everybody thinks that if I don't agree with an opinion, then I'm the worst guy in the world, and that's not the case. I just choose not to listen to it. That's what I try to share with people. I try to, to just say, hey, um, just, just have respect, okay? Yes, I do. Don't smoke weed, smoke Jesus. I might have to use that one, bud. <laughs> I like that. What? <laughs> I will definitely have to say that this has so far been the most comical let's chat I've had. Sure. Can I, the question was, can I read a comment I'm replying to before I answer? Sure. I respect all women, even the ones that don't have feet. Interesting comment. I mean, that's good. There's nothing wrong, but interesting comment. I missed that question. Um, Frederick, to answer your question, uh, after if I've ever done uh, drugs, um, I was I was 24 uh, so the question is have you ever drank so much uh, milk that you've thrown up yes Okay, Angus, I don't understand that question, but please keep it clean. Okay, are all of you, uh, what was the highlight of your college experience? Ooh, good question. Okay, so for my bachelor's degree, the highlight... I know this is going to sound cheesy, but probably the highlight was the day I graduated. Uh, the reason being is because it was my dad's birthday, and I was the first one in my family to go straight from high school to college and then finish college. Okay, so Frederick is asking, have you ever... Uh, eaten so much that you've thrown up. Yes. And what was the most I've thrown up? Um, probably two plates of food. Random question. <laughs> but that's why I do these. You guys get a chance to ask me just about anything.
When was okay? Um, Frederick, I'm not going to answer that one. I told you I would answer just about anything. That's not going to be one of them. Although it's, I was like seven. What's like a gallon of beer or Coca-Cola? Throwing up two plates of food? There's a reason why I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's not a gallon. That's, um, what is that? It's only three cups, and it's an energy tea. <laughs> no, this is only, this is only, um, what's this on the side? Yeah, 24 ounces, three cups, and it's an energy tea. It's one of the things that I drink while doing these chats to make sure I don't get too tired or... Uh, what is energy tea? My particular one, it's uh, a natural tea designed to help your body produce its own natural caffeine. Uh, that particular tea essentially allowed me to get off um, coffee and Coke as a necessity. Um, I had a caffeine addiction. If I didn't have uh, the equivalent of a 44-ounce Coke, or a large cup of coffee uh, first thing in the morning I had a horrible migraine and so I started drinking my energy teas to help my body produce its own natural caffeine and was essentially able to get off coke uh, and coffee altogether as a necessity now I get to just enjoy my cup of coffee I don't really drink coke anymore I gave that up guys please stop Okay. All right. Dude, I warned you. You're gone. Chris Pratt has been standing outside my window for four days. I'm like, what? No. Okay, guys, seriously, keep it clean or I block all of you. Enough. Um, Jorge, keep it clean. For all I know, one of the people watching is my little boy. Keep it clean or I remove you from my channel. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, he did. I, I asked you guys to keep it clean. All I ask is that you respect my wishes. And he couldn't do that. So, yeah, he's gone. This is this is a chance for you guys to ask me questions about who I am, what I do. All right. Or hey, you're gone too. I've got three people watching. Dude!
Okay. Have a good one, dude. Take care. Uh, join me next week if you want. Um, you didn't disappoint. It's just, I, I don't appreciate questions like that. Okay, here, that's personal. Okay, it's... Have a good one, dude. If you feel like you need to leave, that's cool. I respect that. Uh, if you want, you can join us next week. Um, my channel, you know what my channel is? Hit subscribe. You're welcome to join us next week. Um, 4 to 5 Central Standard Time, okay? I've got three people watching. Not real sure who, though. Let me check Facebook real quick and just see. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a bad idea. Closing Facebook. <laughs> So it shows that I still have three people watching. Um, for those of you on YouTube that are watching, go ahead and say hi, and uh, let me know. Let me know a little something about you, where you're from. Uh, I've talked to people uh, quite far, a lot further than I thought I would. Um, it, today was Afghanistan, and oh, where was the other one? I had three people on the line, but I don't know where all three of them were. Uh, Uganda. I haven't been to Uganda yet. That was pretty cool. Uh, so now I've hit Uganda, Afghanistan... Iraq, Amsterdam, I think Iceland, California. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like I like learning about new places and and new cultures. Um kind of an interesting last name. I should have asked you guys how you how you pronounce your last name. Um So, to those uh, that are still out there, do you guys have any more questions? Uh, like I said, this is a chance to ask you to ask me just about anything, uh, and to, to please just keep it clean. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that it's already been nearly forty-five minutes. Uh, this was definitely one of my more entertaining uh, let's chats. That's for sure. Um, so that 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 was really pretty pretty interesting. Um, got some interesting questions too. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but with it being the last fifteen minutes, let me just tell y'all that what I do is not a get rich quick scheme. You're not. I mean, unless you're just a genius at business, uh, which I do have a friend that is you're not going to make a whole lot of money very fast. It is possible to make it fast. But when you start your own business, it's really truly about helping others and sharing with people, proving to people that you're real in what you do. Excuse me. That's why I took the time to share with you all the three products that I use every day. Uh, and then... My energy tea I don't have to use every day, but I definitely have it with me on Saturdays. And by the way, the person that said this look this looked like a gallon of beer, you're not the first person to say that. My dad has even told me <laughs> on a couple occasions that uh, if I don't mix everything uh, exactly right, it does have a tendency to look like beer. So you're definitely not the first person to say that. So... Um, Anyway, um, uh, 
I, I'll definitely have to check my analytics later. Um, and just kind of see where I stood today. This was definitely one of my more interesting uh, Let's Chat sessions. So, uh, anyway, so what I was saying, this is not a get rich quick. It is not a pyramid scheme. What I do is about helping real people with aspects of their lives that they want to improve. There's no guarantee that it'll help, but that's what I try to do for people is I try to help them live healthier, happier lifestyles, whether it's through the opportunity or just with certain products uh, as they are. And so um, that that is... I started doing this, it's been nearly three years now, I started doing this because I truly believe in helping others and um, sharing with them my experiences and what Shackley has done for me and my family. It has been a true blessing for all of us. Um, you know, and then starting, uh, started back in January, on January 1st, now we're working towards our trips for next year. Uh, we've got the dream trip, which will go, which is a cruise. Uh, I'm assuming a seven day cruise on a Royal Caribbean, the allure of the seas. Uh, you earn 600 points. You're going to work with me. We're going to go towards those 600 points and, not only earn a trip for two, but $1,500 cash to spend uh, however you would like to. So uh, starting your own business definitely has its own perks and definitely is well worth it. So to the two people that I have watching right now, if you have any interest to start your own business, please send me a message, comment here on my Let's Chat this week, and uh, let me share with you the opportunity. Um, probably. Most likely tomorrow, if I get a chance, I'm going to start another uh, live video and we're going to go over the Shackley opportunity again. So join me for that. Um, I think I'm sharing on uh, YouTube or uh, not YouTube, Twitter and Facebook at the same time right now. So uh, I'll have to go check that out here in a little bit. Uh, so definitely stay tuned tomorrow. If you message me on Facebook, I didn't see the message, but just bear with me. Uh, I will answer those questions just as soon as we're done here. Uh, just like that, this hour went by exceedingly fast. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's. Definitely had some interesting characters on this week uh, and enjoyed many of the questions that they asked. So um, I hope that I'll start spreading a little more and uh, we'll start getting people on uh, Twitter. And Facebook here shortly. I'm not hiding chat. Start. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Um, I can't believe it's it's been nearly an hour already. Um, I hope that a couple of you will join me again next week. I did enjoy most of the comments that you guys, most of the questions that y'all had for me. Uh, definitely enjoyed sharing with y'all. Uh, what my life is like and how much fun I have uh, doing what I do and helping others. Um, currently, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from other opportunities and uh, have some new ways of uh, joining events where I can reach out to uh, a larger market. So always looking for that. Uh, in fact, I've got to reach out to one of my friends and uh, quite possibly start an event uh, here in February. So uh, be looking for that. And then also next Friday as a way to kick off Heart Health Month, join me for my party online. Um, I'm going to go live. No, I'm not going to go live. We're going to have a Facebook party uh, on my page all about heart health. I'm going to try to also share with you on uh, Instagram, Snapchat, um, uh, Twitter, I'm going to try and do all of those all at the same time. And then, as an added bonus for y'all, and this was something that I was really looking forward to talking about today, as an added bonus to y'all, um, 
the person that participates the most is going to get a special prize from me uh, when the party is over. So invite all your friends. Be prepared to ask questions, to share stories. We're going to talk. We're going to kick off Heart Health Month next week with a Facebook party. I really hope everybody can join. Um, right, but drop back down to one watch, one viewer. That might have, that might be my son. Uh, hi to you, buddy. If if you're watching, um, we do our our videos uh, every morning, Monday through Friday. Uh, just saying hi to everybody. You know that is something that we enjoy doing. Make funny faces. Uh, use voice changers and and change our voices up. Um, so uh, I hope that you guys will join us next week for our Facebook party. I uh, can't wait to uh, see to share information with y'all. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn the light on here real quick. Um, so I can't wait to share information with y'all to learn more about y'all. I really hope that y'all have uh, a good rest of your weekend. Definitely going to be posting uh, some more. And we are going to be kicking off Heart Health Month. Now, Heart Health Month starts February 1st, which, if I'm not mistaken, is Thursday. Uh, so I'm getting excited about Heart Health because there are a lot of things about Heart Health that people don't uh, realize. And I've got my own stories, of course, uh, to share with y'all next week. So uh, definitely be looking forward to that. I'm truly excited. I can't wait to hear from everybody. Invite anybody you want. There is no limit to how many people can come. Uh, the whole thing is on Facebook, so anybody can chime in. And like I said, there's a special prize, which we'll talk about on Friday, to the person that participates the most. Okay? So you need to show up to the party. You need to participate. It's going to be the only way you get this. Okay? And I'm excited to share it with you. Um, I'm going to be reaching out to, to all my friends and family this week. I hope you guys will do the same. This is definitely going to be something worth hearing about. So, um, let's see what else. We've got a few minutes left. I've got one person watching, not real sure who. Uh, but I tell you what, this has been one of the better Let's Chats that we've had in a while. Uh, got a chance to meet new people, make new friends. That is what I love doing the most out of all of it. So uh, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, call it a day. I'm going to send up another post here in just a few minutes, uh, sharing with everybody uh, this week's Let's Chat for those of you that weren't able to join. Uh, definitely interesting talking to somebody in Uganda uh, and Afghanistan this week. We'll see who I reach next week. I don't know. Uh, that's the thing about these Let's Chats. I, I do these. I never know who's going to tune in. Uh, but it is so much fun nonetheless. I, I really do love it. Um, it. It's fun for me to learn about new cultures and, and histories and meet new people. And with Shackley, I get to do just that as well as uh, help people in aspects of their lives that they'd like to change. Um, again, uh, if you're on any one of the platforms right now, hit follow or subscribe. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit the bell to be notified every time I come online. Um, if you're, find me on Facebook, Stephen McMillan or McMillan Wellness. Uh, definitely you can, you can send me a message. Basically I'm everywhere. Uh, on every platform, uh, sometimes all at the same time. So I look forward to hearing from all of you. You guys have a terrific re rest of your weekend. We'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take care.